What's up everyone, my name's Nigark. This is Earth Space Colonies. It's a game very, very similar in at least art style to, um, uh, what's the game name? Planet Base. So I thought it would be cool. It's actually super late at night for me recording this. Um, I gotta keep pretty late at night, but, uh, I haven't had a chance to test out the game because it's so late and the girlfriend's gonna be home from work soon. So this is my very first impressions. We're just gonna hit start new, start new whatever it said. Uh, okay. What? Welcome to Mars. Oh. My name is Sinclair, and I'm your personal AI assistant. Nice to meet you. Sup, Sinclair. Um, cool. Area locked. Level ten. Level nineteen. Your mission is to build and maintain the first human colony on Mars. Oh yeah. Before we begin, let's go over some basics. Let's go over the basics, Sinclair. Like I said, I haven't had a chance to launch this. I don't have a lot of time to record. Whoa, who says WASAD? It's all about that WASD, Sinclair. Yeah, I've got I've got all sorts of levels of control going on here. Now let's land our first module. Click on Colony One and then Colony One. Uh, where is Colony One? Is this Colony Storage? What? Colony. Oh, Colony 1. 1500 bucks. Did it. <laughs> so I have 3500 bucks left over. Available uh, space bucks. What's going on here? Colony 1? Colony 1, you call? Oh, jeez. Okay. It really lets me zoom in. Boom. Boom. Pioneer. Unity <clears throat> class colony ship in orbit can deploy various landers to supply your colony with resources. Uh huh. However, landers are expensive and provide only a small amount of resources, so rigid structures will be a more permanent solution. Yeah, cool. Each structure can produce or use colony resources. Here you, you can, can view, view all, all the colony, colony resources. resources. Before mm -hmm. building any new structures, make sure that you have enough resources. Good resource management is the only way yeah. to make your colony grow. You gotta be resourceful. Let's build two inflatable, inflatable habitats. Uh, I'm gonna guess it's new attack level. What? Cool. Awesome. How to? How to? Current objectives: Slaying colony one module. Deploy two inflatable habitats. Uh, okay, so it caught it's tech level two, and it cost me two hundred and fifty bucks. A pressurized, flexible structure capable of supporting life. Uh, you can connect multiple habitats to increase total living space. So this is where people live, and it takes ten power, five oxygen, five water, five uh food. Okay. But it houses 15 people. So let's... Uh, I don't think it has to attach up to this. But I'm going to place it here just to be safe. And then... Oh, see, this snaps. You can see it snapping. Uh, how do I rotate it? Z... P... Uh... Oh, return key. Return? Enter? Oh! What? Okay. Whatever. It doesn't snap like I would hope it would. And that comes in a little bit slow. Okay, sorry for, for messing around so much there. I thought I'd be a little bit faster. What does the info on this say? A lander that is a core module and a starting point of any space colony. Once it lands, this module will provide a small number of colonists with all the basic resources. Lander only has only a decent engine designed for a one-way trip to the surface. Okay. Reasonable. So this one is about to be done. This one is working on it. Boom. New tech level. Which is going to be for solar panels? I assume because solar power machines? Life support. Oh, look at that. I'm getting ahead of the game a little bit. But whatever. We can read about this a little bit. Landing module ha can deploy photovoltaic. Panels to generate electrical power for the colony. Now 
now we have enough room to unpack our bags. So 100 power Probably from this thing. Needs more electrical power. Phase two solar power modules. Okay, so it doesn't... I don't think they have to, uh... What are you doing? <laughs> Am I just pushing him around? You go, buddy. You can, you can hang out over there. So these must be decoration. Because if I can just push him around... Has to be decoration. Okay, we're gonna just plop it right there. Uh, is it possible? Where? Oh. oh. It has like a delay in letting me place things. Your tech level. Get out of my way. I'm placing things. There we go. So I got tech level 4, which is going to be... I don't know. I don't know what tech level 4 gives me. Doesn't give me anything. Wow. All right. no, no more, more sitting in the dark. Yes. Specific buildings and modules can produce various items. Click on the build icon. Build icon? That's it. Now go on and expand what? the colony. What? In case you have any difficulties, I will be glad to give you my assistance. Oh. Good luck. So wait, is there a, is there a pause? Welcome to Lena's Planetary Society. I'm sure you've already met Sinclair. I am Lisa, I, the operations manager. I did. My job is to help you tackle daily tasks. Also, let me introduce Mark to the team. Yes. Hi, I'm Mark. I will help you with research and development activities. Nice to meet you, Chief. Plus, is an international organization what? with the goal of establishing interplanetary settlements. You are in charge of the Mars colony, and we are here Yeah, that's great. That is super low res. <laughs> um That's right, chief. My daily downtime is only 45 minutes when I have to reach That's great, Sinclair. Now What? So, uh, hold on. These A colony always needs basic resources. Power, water, Give me dollars. And experience? And now we need other resources. Go ahead and land oxygen, water, and cargo modules. Oxygen, water, and cargo modules. I'll just get right on that. Seeds, uh, antimony. I don't even know what antimony is. That sounds like something when you go through a divorce. I got a tech level because I'm getting experience. Water, oxygen, cargo. Okay, so cargo is gonna give me 30 food, and it's gonna take 5 power. So let's, let's pop one of them bad boys down. Let's just throw it over here in this corner. I don't assume a bad thing. Oxygen, water, uh, cargo, and then a modular habitat. So that was cargo, this is oxygen, this is water. Uh, spam is okay. I've had it, uh, twice in my life. Only when I'm eating spam masubi, actually. So I guess we just keep making rubber? A modular habitat. Oh, hi. A modular habitat that is a more spacious and rigid residential structure. What? A basic housing structure? Gives me 25 people, takes a bunch of stuff. Can I... I'm just gonna pop it there, I guess. Yeah, she can take a decent shower. Um, inflatable habitat. This is... What's with the building thing? Like, am I actually building things, or... Oh, I am! Oh! I am, oh. Is there a way to automate that? I would love to automate that. Automating that would be great. So I'm just gonna keep... Oh, I'm running out of storage. Uh-oh. 46%. So 25 people are gonna be able to chill out here. Um, we definitely have all the... Oh. Yeah, we definitely have all the resources for that. I, for a second I freaked out. Uh, let's get... 
Well, no, I want to I wanna unlock those things for myself. So my storage... If I right-click, it just goes to the middle of the screen. Like, look, I'm over here. Right-click, goes straight to the middle of the screen. How weird is that? Okay, so if you ever see my mouse, like, go to the middle of the screen... Like, I'm trying to right-click to see if I can sell those? That's why. That is, that is exactly why. So I did that. I did that. Yes. Construction complete. Now we have more living space for our colonists. Mhm. Mm I did that. And this can produce oh, stem cells. What? 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 Are we just not? Constructing a landing pad will make soft landings much easier. Are we just not mentioning the UFO? Chief, let's build Solar farm, landing pad, hydroponics. We could grow our own food. Solar farm. Okay, so this is basically get lots of power for 200. 200 thing, build lots of power. Ah! Hey! Shut up, alright? I'm, I'm working. Okay, there's that. And then we need landing pad and hydroponics. Can't build hydroponics. Uh, landing pad? Landing pad, what is this? Uh, takes people. Will simplify and automate landing operations. Oh, okay, so it's gonna take power, people, and oxygen. Oh, that's big! Holy crap! That rock is in the way. Let's... I guess put it right there. That's where it wants to go. And then I need, um, I need storage. How do I get storage? I don't know. I don't know how I get, I don't know how I get storage. Oh, hey, there's a turret. So that must mean there's enemies, like those UFOs. See, I'm learning. No, we don't want to land a solar, mo uh, a, a colony, colony one. That's not what we want to land. Um... Hydroponics. Provides fresh food for the colony. Yeah. Yeah, it does. So I'm gonna check really quick. So that had a red power. Now if I click on it, it, does, it doesn't have a red power. So if I'm gonna be out of something, it'll be red. That is good to know. And we will just plop you there. That is 58. I still can't build more stuff in here. I would love to build some stem cells. Oh wait, yeah I can. Hold on. How did I get more stuff? Upgrade? Takes modular habitat upgrade. What? Repair? How do I... Oh, my little dude's just... Look at him go. Okay, that's not repairing it. Train specialized astronauts? Maintenance tech for 500 bucks? I don't... I don't... I shouldn't be messing with that. I don't understand that stuff yet. <clears throat> cool, we got this. Launch vehicles to sell items? Research new technologies? O okay. Research new techs? Takes... It gives 10 experience, takes 100 bucks. I'll, I'll give him a hundred bucks for new new stuff. I don't know what improved guidance does, but I'll take it, I guess. This is this is growing pains. This is how you figure out new games, right? Uh, this is at sixty nine percent, the best percent. Start does what? So this is it's Sim City from forever ago. I have no astronauts. Wait, there's two more- oh god, there's two more planets. Two more colonies to colonize. I have stem cells now, that's cool. Now what if I launch vehicle to sell items? Income 31. Launch. Launch. Why don't we build a bigger communication array? 
Uh, why don't we? That's a really good good question. A communication array will greatly improve transmission quality. Uh, communication array and a... in situ oxygen. Even further by researching new technologies. Okay, communication array. We need that. We should start processing surface materials to create resources we need. On-site oxygen production facilities... On-site? That's how you pronounce on in situ on site. Materials that are relevant to the hierarchy of future applications and progressing to the use of resources to underpin future industrial capabilities. Yeah, exactly what he just said. Yeah, listen to him. He's smart. He gets it. I have no idea what he said. <clears throat> I'm just trying to survive and like organic fabric. That's experience. Oh god, the right-click thing is tragic. It is tragic. Uh, launch? Launch? How do I know? I don't- I don't know. I don't know how I know if I can launch again. So they want me to get a communication array. I'm still not level 9, so I can't do that. We need to- we need to keep going. Oh, look at you go. Where could you go? And the two is on site. Oh, I see how they messed up. Oh. Instead of hitting E, they hit the key four button four keys to the right. That's how they messed it up. Yeah. Um How's my storage? I've still I've still got space for twenty. I've still got space for twenty. Wait, I don't want these. I can't cancel those. Okay. Good to know. 30 experience. We do want those. I want this weird, uh, soya beans. Soya beans. There you go. Can you produce anything? No. Did this ever get repaired? Whatever, we're gonna train, um, a maintenance tech. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm getting real advanced here. Getting some maintenance techs, getting a miner. I don't even know what that means, but we're getting one. Not enough money. Oh, right, they take money. Um, whoops. So I need to sell stuff to get the money. Oh, I think that's how many I can send out right now. Maybe. I don't, I don't know. Like, I can't. It's so weird. <laughs> it is so weird. Also, it's really weird that when I let go of the key, it continues going, so watch this, watch this. Let go? 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 <laughs> it's like a half a second or a quarter of a second that it continues going after I'm done pressing. Uh, did we get the dude? I guess not. I guess not yet. We almost have this, the improved guidance. I don't I don't fully understand that. Let's continue making some of this stuff. Cause it sells well and I get experience. And some of uh this stuff, because it also sells well and I get experience. So that's cool. And we're gonna put some fabric in there and we're gonna sell that out. Oh look at my money. Research completed. I got that. That's the thing that I got. <laughs> Oh man. Um Oh, that's that's a person. I got a miner. I don't know what he does, but I got him. Um yep, I got him. Uh over here, continue building soya beans cuz they sell the best. Yeah. Yeah, Roger, 104. Yeah. Congratulations, level up. That means we can almost get the communications thing. I just need the money. <laughs> I already... I screwed myself out of a freaking tutorial. I don't know how I managed that. Oh, that's what I need to be building. I need the Martian fruit. Hell yeah. Let's get some of that stuff. Uh, get rid of all this garbage. Whatever, just sell it. Just sell it. Don't even care. Just get rid of it. Martian fruit. 
Are you, are you back? Are you ready for more? Or are, are you just taunting me? So? No, nope, you're taunting me. I need to get 850 space... 850 space bucks. So I can do things. Are you guys actually repairing? Repair? Ha! Ha ha ha! Yes! Warning! Decompression detected. What? Our structures is losing pressure. What? Is that is it that one? Repair that? Is it is it the one that's at nine percent? Or is it the one that I started repairing? Because I'm an ass. I don't <laughs> I don't know. I'll figure this game out, damn it. So help me I will. Uh, sell. Come in here, make that Martian fruit. Come in here, make that weird cloth stuff. So he's picking up my stuff. Okay, so that one is fixed. Now go fix that. Ser for reals. Like, for reals, for reals. What is this? What are you doing? Oh, you're mining the rocks. Oh! You're mining the rocks. You're getting them out of my way. Got guys? Guys, you're never gonna get over there like this. Guys, really, you're never gonna get over there like this. Guys? Get guys? Oh man, that stuff is... What happens when it gets to zero? I panic, that's what happens. Oh, mineral ore! Oh, wow! So that's what the miner does. He's actually getting me expensive stuff. There we go, we have the stuff for the communications array. Now let's get the communications... Array? I need 30 colonists. I don't have 30 colonists. Oh god. How do I not have 30 colonists? Warning! Decompression detected. Yep. One of our structures is losing pressure. That's that's what we did. That's the thing that we did. I don't know how, but I did it. Um I really would like them to repair that. Like I don't understand how a solar module would be losing pressure, but it's the lowest thing. So, how did I screw these guys up before? How did I move them? Because remember, I was pushing one of these nerds. Oh, he's stuck in like the corner, so I can't... I can't really push him out of that. Um... This is gonna be unfortunate. <laughs> I'm already doing horrible at this game, and I'm, I've just started. Uh, get more Martian fruit. Get more fa fabric y stuff. Sell off Martian fruit and fabric y stuff. It's 395 space bucks. So we need people to build the communications array. And then we need the in situ oxygen production. In situ oxygen production. I assume this is the in situ oxygen production. Yeah, I assume that's what this is. I'm just gonna smack that right over here. And I also need communications. Which I no longer have people for, so we are going to get another habitat. Which takes water, which I need. Oh god, I made this a mess, didn't I? This is all me. This isn't... Oh no, I, I think I made the mess. That is now at 0%, and I see no negative impact on it yet, so... Whatever. <laughs> Sell these things- OH! It is completely destroyed. I found the negative impact, guys, it explodes. So, that's a problem. That was a solar module. I assume that means that I need to have things set up in such a way that, um, they're accessible. 
So we're just gonna play some of these things out here because, well, uh, that one's... That one's gonna explode. That oxygen is gonna explode, but we got this oxygen to fix that. And what's this back here? This is the cargo module, which is food. I guess food isn't that important. Whatever, shut up. We're gonna get this. Uh, alien fruit stuff, that's weird. On-site, uh, right, we got the on-site oxygen production. That's cool, that's awesome. We can make the oxide-rich stuff. Now we need the communications array, which means I need people, which means I have to get one of these. Yes. And now I sell this stuff. So much for it being so automated, right? I don't even... I don't even. I don't even. Can you guys repair that? Can you find your path over there? Can you guys figure out how to get over there? That would be awesome. That'd be super cool. Oh crap, this episode is like 25 minutes long. Um. Warning. Decompression um. One of our structures is losing pressure. Save and quit to main menu, I guess. My name is Nugark, this is Earth Space Colonies, and thank you for watching. <laughs>